Okay, let's look at some examples of signal line crossovers and uh, how you would manage your trade. Now, some were good, some were bad, but there were eight signal line crossovers in six months on IBM in this example. Now, what you've got here is you'll see your first signal line crossover right here, which was a bearish crossover. That's where the black line was crossing through the red line. That would have been a sell indicator that would have happened right about here. Okay. Now, that did not result in much of a gain if you were going short, but then you'd see the, uh, the red line cross through the black line here, okay? The, uh, the, the faster moving average was crossing through the slower moving average, which resulted in a good buy point right here, and so you saw the stock make a nice run. Now, the signal lines crossed again here, which triggered a sell here, and then you've got the signal lines crossing through again here, triggering a buy here. So you're starting to get the point as to how you use these. Now here's where we didn't get good results with our signal line crossovers. Right here, this was a bearish crossover, so our faster moving average is dropping below our slowing moving average, which you would have gone short right here. Well, clearly the uptrend was more powerful than the, uh, than the MACD trend, and so as a result, you would have got whipsawed on this trade, and you can see here you had a potential buy come through here, and then you had a potential sell come through here. So you see how you're starting to get whipsawed on this. But the one thing that I do want you to note is that we have a negative divergence here. And if you see how we're hitting higher highs with the stock and you're hitting lower lows with the MACD on the crossovers. So that is a bearish divergence. And right here would have been your main sell signal, the most powerful sell signal, and you would be short the stock at this stage. So what I wanted you to note was, again, the uptrend was very powerful, but the MACD was losing steam right through here. So this is how you use signal crossovers as a way to, uh, to manage your trade and identify good en entry and exit points.